gotten there by now? It seems like we've been walking for hours. It's so dark in here, I can't even tell if it's day or night. I know what time it is. It's time to eat. I'm starved. Oh, I'm a hexpert when it comes to finding food in the forest. In fact, I know a place close to here. Follow me. Ta-da! A gingerbread house. This is perfect. Come on, guys. Just break a piece right off the outside. Ew, gross. That stuff's dirty. Let's see what's inside. This is good, yeah? My you girls, go find your own gingerbread house! <laughs> Welcome to Miss Muppet's frozen yogurt bar. It's way tasty. Pull up a top and then relax. I just wanted to tell them about the free web access. Ow. Don't worry, guys. I know the family that lives here, and they just love me. Hello? It's Blondie <gasps> What do we do? Just ignore her. Maybe she'll go away. Oh, they must not be home. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, hello. Locks. What a pleasure. Maybe we should be moving on. It was very lovely meeting all of you. What are you talking about? My friends are really hungry. Would you guys have some porridge by any chance? Why, of course. We always have porridge. And offering it up to a girl who broke into our house would, I suppose, be the polite thing to do. Enough already! She already broke my bed. She broke my chair! I can't take it anymore. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Well, that was awkward. Should have let me do all the talking. I'm telling you, those bears really love me! We definitely should have found the forest fest by now. Let's all just take our mind off of our situation and think about other things. Ooh, boys! That's exactly what I was trying not to think about. I forgot Dexter was taking Raven to the movies tonight. Who knows? Maybe it won't go very well. I think I'll wear this bracelet. Or, um, maybe this ring. Oh, this necklace would look nice. It's a night at the movies, Raven, not a final exam. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm way more nervous than I expected. I mean, this is my first actual date with Dexter. He's here! I'm sorry, I didn't realize that wood was your head. I, I mean, the door was your head. I mean, have some flowers. Thank you. They're, um, beautiful. I forgot. Dark queen, flowers, ah. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just put them in some water. I'm so clumsy. I am so sorry, Dexter. No, no, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's totally my fault. Really, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry that you're sorry. <sighs> this place is really fancy and, um... Maybe we should just go sit down. Watch your feet. Ow! How did I even do that? Should I get some snacks? I should get some snacks. No, 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 I should stay. No, I should probably get some snacks. I want snacks? I want snacks. Now I need to go to the bathroom. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Raven? Dexter, I've got a confession to make. I am, like, really super nervous. You're nervous? But I'm nervous. We've got something in common. <laughs> so really, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's just be ourselves and enjoy the evening. But Raven... Shh. It's starting. I can't wait to see what comes next. Cedar, 
Have you heard anything from the girls since they left for the party? I was just in the woods. Don't worry, Dad. Blondie Locks and her friends won't be back here anytime soon. That's my boy. Blondie? Why would she be in the dark forest? Weird, because she went to the enchanted forest with Ashley, Poppy, and Cupid. <gasps> They're in the wrong forest! They must have taken the wrong path. I say we pitch in and do something about it. Come on! How much longer are we gonna wait for Baba Yaga? She's bound to show up soon. We just have to be patient and think positive thoughts. Well, I'm positive I'm done waiting. This is an emergency. How do you work this thing? <laughs> Yaga's office, forward. Hey, this is easier than I thought. South and I was trapped in that bottle all night. <laughs> Raven Queen, have you been driving this room without my permission? Uh, well, I... I like it! <laughs> Give in to your dark side. It's an excellent start. But I did it because our friends, well, they're lost in the dark forest. They need our help. Say no more! Hold on! Field trip to the dark! Stump. I'm no mossy stump, gizzle widget the imp I am, and what great fortune is yours that upon me you've happened. You're a who's a what now? I will be guiding you four guests personally to the secret party of your desires. Follow me. <laughs> You're in for such a surprise. Hey, girls, party, 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 whatever. This isn't the forest fest, is it? I'm Biggle Woggle, and this is my bog. You girls are guests at my party. Well, 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 I cast my spell. Now you're cursed to stay here for a hundred years. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Nobody ever invites me to anything. So I'm having my own party to compete with the Forest Fest. Now I order you to have fun! You can't order people to have fun. No wonder you're never invited anywhere, seeing as how rude you are. <sighs> if you want to get invited anywhere, you need to start acting nicer. And it wouldn't hurt to take care of your appearance either. Blondie, my bag. <laughs> Like a new troll. How'd you like to go to the forest fest in my place? You you would do that for me? Sure. I would have let that Fabel girl go in my place if she wasn't so pushy about it. No one has ever shown me such kindness. I lift the spell! <laughs> this way to the enchanted forest! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Like the only one who got stumped was you. <sighs> Thank you. Oh no, where's the 
caramel. Who are you? You don't work here. You just keep plugging away, haircut boy. Don't mind me. Hey there. Aren't you Faybel Thorne, the head cheerleader at Ever After High? What are you doing working? I'm not working. See, I just snuck in here to snoop around, get some info. You catch my drift? But why? Oh, you know, only because my mom is the dark fairy, the one who wasn't invited to Sleeping Beauty's big birth bash, so she cursed the poor sweet babe to sleep for a hundred years. <laughs> I just want to fulfill my destiny as the baddest fairy of them all. So how about it, handsome? Lend a girl a hand. Handsome? Uh, oh no. I would delight in assisting you in your quest, fair maiden. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, little fella. An invitation? I wonder who it's from. Ashlyn, Ella, you and a guest are cordially invited to the Blue Moon Forest Fest. Tonight, the Forest Fest? <gasps> That's like the most exclusive party ever. You can't even find it without an invitation. It says I get to invite someone. Do you want to go? Of course, but the new multi-hex theater opens tonight, and I promised I'd see a movie with daring. <laughs> but it should be easy finding someone. I mean, who wouldn't kill to be your plus one to the Blue Moon Forest Fest? <gasps> Looks like it's time to crash the biggest party ever after. I always oh, get to go to the <gasps> One large coffee thing with caramel stuff and some whip whatever on the house. And wouldn't you know, it's always been my biggest dream to go to a forest fest. Oh, well... I was hoping I could go. Wait, if you're here, then... <gasps> Wanted to pick me up, not to knock me over. No, not these ones. These won't work either. The Blue Moon Forest Fest is tonight. How can I hike into the Enchanted Forest for the biggest party of the year if I can't even find the perfect shoe? <gasps> there it is, a glass hiking boot. Stylish, but sensible. A good choice. It's totally you. But is everything okay? You seem a little stressed. Uh, I guess I'm just distracted. Everyone wants to go with me, and I can't decide who to invite. Well, you know I'd come, but I'd promised the guys I'd go see a scary movie at the multi-hex tonight. Cupid, Jack and Jude. How did you even get in here? I was just shopping for a lady shoes. Relax, Ashlyn. The perfect person will turn up. You're gonna have a great time, I'm sure. Catch you later, sweetie. <laughs> Ashlyn! Oh, just who I was looking for! Don't tell me. You want to go with me tonight? Uh, what? No, I'd feel super awkward at a forest fest. So much forest and festivity. Ugh. I'm looking for Cupid. H have you seen her? Not lately. Did you try Hocus Latte? Oh, uh, thanks. I will. <gasps> oh, Cupid! I really need to ask you something. <laughs> well, you see, it's kind of personal, and so I'm a little nervous, and... I find that at times like this, the best way is to just come out and say it. Okay. Will you go to the movies with me tonight? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Uh, I'll see you at eight. Great! I'll see you then. <laughs> <sighs> Jack and Tilton! The sequel! These boots are great! Cupid! There you are! You can see me? <laughs> From talking to Dexter, I was starting to wonder if I was invisible. I'm sorry. But I have good news. I think you're the perfect person to bring to the Forest Fest. What do you say? You know what? I seriously need a break from all this romance business. Great. Let's find you some new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be three for tea plus you and me. But I mix up the cakes with the cookies and the saucers with the scones. Hello, Raven. Sorry. I wasn't really listening. It's just that 
Dexter finally asked me out. I want this date to be just right. Then I know just the right person to talk to. Oh, I finally did it. I asked Raven out. Oh, oh, what have I done? Girl trouble, little bro. Blondie! Thanks for coming. I know you're getting ready for your big mirror cast. Oh, yes! On the art of decorating cupcakes. It has to be just right. Oh, excuse me. Hi, are those fresh cupcakes I smell? Could I ask? Sorry, Toots, but I don't work here anymore. Bye-bye. Well, how rude. Anyway, the thing is, I've got this date tonight with Dexter. Wow! They couldn't be more just right! A cupcake, please! Uh, what were you saying? Well, I've got this date, and... Ooh, a date! Okay, let's pretend I'm him and you're you. But I am me. I see you, and I say, why, hello, Raven, you look just right tonight. You hesitated. Uh, What's wrong with me? It's going to be a disaster! Listen to me, little bro. You're a charming. All you need is your knockout smile. <gasps> okay, let me try. <gasps> really? And the super special secret with boys is to be extra selective. For example, that boy over there, he's too funny. That boy parts his hair too far over to the left. He chooses food too loudly. His hat looks funny. And once you've flashed your killer smile, there's not much more to it. Just be awesome, tall, handsome, popular, and incredibly good-looking. Basically, be me. Oh, Gort. He's too mysterious, and he's too left-handed, and his feet are too big, and he's too quiet, and he's Blondie. too loud. She's got cupcakes! A cupcake? A cupcake? Blondie! Oh, no. Yeah, you lost control of your powers. But look, it wasn't a bad thing. This cupcake-themed dress is perfect for my mirror cast. I think you're going to be just right. So the invitation says, just head into the Enchanted Forest, and the party will lead us to it. I see two girls alone in the wilderness. What's that? It's a bush. Oh, yeah. I'm a little scared of the woods. I mean, who knows what'll happen when it gets dark? Someone's watching. The trees are closing in on me. I just can't take it anymore. Um, Cupid, we haven't even left school yet. Oh. Hi, girls! Guess what? I get to cover the Blue Moon Forest Fest for my mirror cast, and I got an extra ticket! Did somebody say extra ticket? Hey, Belle. Wow. There really was someone watching us. Watching you? Oh, no. I was just passing by, and I overheard that my good friend Blondie Locks here had a plus one invitation to the fest. So come along now, let's hit the cobblestone. Hi, guys! I'm ready to go. Oh, you're Blondie's plus one guest. Yeah, well, Blondie wanted someone to do her hair. Who's your friend? Guys, this is Faybelle. We'd bring you if we could, honest. But we can't. Well then, you four had better get going. We'll make it up and do something together when we get back. Sounds great. If you ever do get back. Why, hello there, Cerise. <laughs> easy, easy. I was just wondering if you could give me a little travel advice. Um, I guess. Let's say I'm an innocent traveler in these parts. What's the worst and most horribly dangerous mistake I could make? Well, there's that. Enchanted forest is to the right. Dark forest is to the left. The worst mistake you could make is to go into the dark forest. Anyway, gotta run. Wait, but you just said... Uh, who cares? How do we handle their rejection? Send them in the wrong direction. The fork in the path should be right up there. All we have to do is follow that sign right into the enchanted forest. It doesn't look very enchanted from here. Aw, oh, come on, guys! We don't want to be late! <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone.
But now you're feeling like a different ending 